In this video, I want to show you a quick demonstration of the FB Total Track add-on, exactly what it does. And the purpose of it is to fire a Facebook purchase pixel um, from your order confirmation page. So it fires one purchase event uh, when the customer goes all the way through your funnel and lands on the order confirmation page. And what it does is it actually totals up all the purchases on the order confirmation page and sends a single value uh, with the entire purchase funnels. And so this is great if you've got an order form plus OTO pages, and then they land on the order confirmation page. We'll total everything up send it off to Facebook as a single purchase uh, so let's walk through real quick and show you how this works and so we're just gonna go in and we're gonna place a test order here I'm gonna go ahead and copy this test credit card number so I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna copy it um, and we're gonna pick uh, this product here test product one and I'm gonna put in a um, I like to test with the unique email address because order confirmation pages with click funnels will show you all of your purchases um, uh, for the same email address in the same funnel uh, so sometimes it looks a little weird if you've done more multiple tests. So I always use a unique email address and I do that by entering in the date and then I put a dash, you know, whatever test number. So in this time, in this case, it's the third time going through this funnel today. So I'm going to go ahead and put dash three and then that's here, protools.com. And then I'm going to put in just, uh, just put in an address here and I'm going to paste in my credit card number and this funnel is in test mode. So then I can I uh, just put in 0123 and then 123 for the CVC code and this uh, number here uh, so the number that's up top is just the test credit card number. And then we'll notice that I have right here, I have test product one and Kona shipping. So I have an order total of 3195. Uh, so I'm gonna click complete order now and it's gonna go through and process my order. And I don't have any OTOs set up, but if I had OTOs, I could go through there and make additional purchases. Um, but what we notice is we have a total here with two products on the order form, or I'm sorry, on the order confirmation page, we have test product one for $27 and our Kona shipping at $4.95. And if we look in our little pixel helper here, we can click and open that up and it will show us that we've got a few per, uh, pixels that have fired here. We've got a page event um, and a view content, or a page view event, a view content event, and then a purchase. And then this purchase, this is the one that the FB Total Track add-on has created and fired. And we'll notice that the value here is $31.95. So it's dynamically calculated the total of these two products up into $31.95 in US dollars, and it has sent those all across to Facebook. If we had other products, it would total those up as well, and it come up with a single dynamic value based on everything that was purchased. So the total of all of these added up, and it would uh, set our currency, and it sends those over uh, with a total value to Facebook. So that is the purpose of the FB Total Track. Uh, it installs on your order confirmation page, and it gives a single purchase uh, for all uh, the total value of all purchases throughout the entire funnel and sends them off as one purchase bit. So hopefully you like it and hopefully you put it to good use.